It's been a while since I did these vlogs and I thought to myself that I'd put them on the other channel, Just Joe, but you know, at the moment I am so busy and I still have a lot of things to do related to this channel with 3D printing that I figure I'd post a couple more vlogs here to tell you guys what's been going on. First things first, as you probably are aware, I've mentioned in a few places, I am I am well back to being full-time content creator. Now, when I say full-time, this is not the only thing I do. I still work, but I work from home doing 3D printing related stuff uh, for companies. So that's CAD design, content management for websites, um, consultancy, stuff like that. The good thing is that I now have secure income where I can still work on my channel from home. The other thing is I have so many projects going on right now and most of them are almost finished. Um, it's just a matter of tying up loose ends so I can start recording. Um, in the meantime, today, uh, three boxes have arrived. These three. And this is the CR10 Max. This is the TiVo Tarantula Pro. And this, this is the Two Trees Sapphire S Pro. Um, this is the one I was looking forward to the most because this is a budget Core XY printer which I've been dying to get my hands on. It's finally here, but I won't be opening this today. I'll probably put this together during the live stream. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to open these two boxes. I'm going to set the printers up. I'll probably throw like a couple of small prints and I'll let you know how it went. As for all the other projects I'm doing, I can tell you now that right behind you, the mural is up on the wall. Yes, um, it's not finished yet. I just put it up, it's hanging there, it's secure, but I am waiting for some more LED strips because I didn't have enough. And I also am waiting for a five volt, 30 amp power supply because it's gonna to have to power all that with LEDs. Uh, then just do a small box and everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'll show you a quick glimpse of it, but I'm not gonna go into detail because I've done a whole recording session of how I put it together, how I hung it up on the wall. Um, so that'll be another video, but I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys a bit of a glimpse. And also, what do you think? This is my FDL3. And this was a project sponsored by Magicu and Polymaker, uh, who supplied the filaments. And I, it's my FDL3, and it's... <laughs> it's insane. Wait, hold on. You can adjust the speed, rate of fire. Uh, yeah, that's fully automatic. Let's just do one. And it's, it's, it, it hurts. Uh, rate of fire, let's, let's see. So are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Look at that. That turned out so, so much better than I expected. And the thing is, like if I go further back, it just, it's beautiful. And unfortunately it's, it's not ready yet, but I, I'm so excited. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. And I, I wanna thank you guys. I wanna thank you guys because you're the ones that made that possible. That is absolutely insane and I love it. But anyway, for now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start setting up the CR10 Max and then we'll put together the TiVo Tarantula Pro, Pro, Pro and we'll, we'll, we'll see how they are. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know how the build went and uh, yeah, we'll throw some, some test bricks. Absolutely gigantic. The bed plate is removable. It's a sheet of aluminum or aluminum. Ooh, just perfect. Although perfect, perfect for the base. This is protruding outwards. I would say that this is more akin to the CR10S Pro um, with uh, with the same hot end assembly. Um, it does have a BL touch though, and not I think it's called an inductive sensor. I always get those mixed up. Um, it has the dual geared, uh, the dual Bontech style geared extruder as well. So yeah, this should be should be awesome. Something else happened last week, so I'm going to take a short break. 
I want to show you the awesomeness that was this week. So this, this is Bella. Bella is a rescue dog. And about a month ago, when we rescued Bella, the vet told us that she had a phantom pregnancy, um, which means it's like a fake pregnancy, which apparently dogs suffer quite a lot of. However, Bella here, well, Bella's pregnancy wasn't very fake. <laughs> That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's Butch. That's, come on, that's Focus. That, that's Butch. He is, he's the biggest one there is. And we don't know who the father is, um, but we're thinking it's a boxer mix based on the colors. I'm a granddaddy. I'm a grand noob. They're always eating and sleeping. They're six days old now. You did a good job, Bella. Back to this now. So I opened the TiVo Tarantula Pro box and it didn't really occur to me until this second that this is a full-on kit, as in, like, it's not halfway assembled or anything. This is like, this is, this is like a kit. It's a full kit. Another thing I noticed is uh, there aren't any instructions. There's no instruction manual. Um, something I want to check is 14 gauge wires not even 16 they went with 14 gauge wires so at least that's quite powerful so yeah I'm gonna have to see maybe the instructions are on the USB stick I hope there it is so unfortunately I cannot assemble the Tarantula Pro for the time being because I don't have a manual. Um, the memory card does come with an assembly manual but it's corrupted and cannot be opened. Um, so yeah. So for now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw something on the CR10 Max and see how that goes. It, two tiny problems on the CR10 Max during assembly. The first one was one of the pins of the uh, Y axis stepper motor was bent so I couldn't plug it in but that's easy fix. The other one uh, was the uh, limit switch for the X axis. It was completely bent out of place so as soon as it homed it started making like weird noises. Um, I did bend it back into place, it's a bit flimsy, so I don't know how long that's gonna last, but it's working in the moment, so we'll see how that goes. So there you have it, after 11 hours we have uh, an elephant. So print quality, very good actually. Um, this turned out really, really good. I'm guessing it was sliced to perfection because of the machine. Uh, it was printed in Protopasta HPLA Natural. Um, it took about 11 hours to print and the supports came off easily and it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous print. 
Couple of things about the CR10 Max. Uh, while it is silent when it's printing, in terms of movements and stuff like that, the fans. This thing sounds like a jet engine. This currently, let me get the mic. So this, this is an idle. So there's, it's just switched on. That's the fan. Once you start printing and the secondary fan comes in, it's twice as loud as this. Like it's, it sounds literally like a jet. Uh, second thing which kind of concerns me and this is a legacy issue with Creality. They started this trend and it stayed there and for some reason, I don't know, maybe they don't want to fix it or whatever, they feel like they, there is no need and that is this stuff right here. Um, this holds the, uh, the Bowden tube and the wires for the hot end and the fans and it, it's, it's encased in this plastic, like this really cheap plastic um, wire housing. Now what's gonna happen is like this is sagging. So first of all, it's restricting because there's quite a bit of a bend here in the Bowden tube. So even pushing the filament through uh, is a bit it, difficult to do it by hand, but I mean, fair enough, it has uh, Bontex style gears. But still, um, that there is quite a kink there and this is sagging because of the weight and what's gonna happen is, once you have a print that's large enough on the build platform, as this will move back, it will start hitting that cable. And this, 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 this is just not right. This is going to create a problem. There has to be a way for it to sort of like keep it right at the top, maybe a string or something or an elastic like the same way the T-Rex has. Um, the form box, but anyway, I, ideally it would have proper cable management um, and then just the Bowden tube, unrestricted. Those are pretty much the only two things I kind of dislike so far about the machine. That is the fan noise, um, it's just too much, and this, but, but this, yeah, this needs to be fixed. Um, Creality, sort this out. I mean, this, this is just not right. And that is it for today, guys. Uh, this vlog I think kind of went longer than I anticipated uh, so we'll leave everything else for another vlog um, I'll leave you guys to it with the backdrop of the mural or part of it um, uh, it's not ready yet I didn't want to show it but it's I mean, come on it's awesome thank you guys for watching uh, make sure you like share subscribe if you want to support me you can do so through patreon um, that is it for today as always happy making guys